Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and in today's video, I am back with another reviews video. If you guys are new here, I do one every single month and I usually do it in the categories of jewelry, makeup, skincare, and some home stuff and occasionally some clothing, but I usually like to save the clothing stuff for my own separate hauls so you guys can watch those. So without further ado, let's get into April favorites. Before we officially get into jewelry, I wanna say that I have 10% off of all of my jewelry items. So make sure you use the links down below and get 10% off your order. Starting with our usual category, I'm gonna go with some jewelry products that are my favorite from Majuri. So the first item I wanted to share with you guys is this ring that I got. All of these rings are from Majuri, but the one that I wanted to call out this month because you've seen all the other ones is the one in the middle. So this one in the middle is actually in white gold. So just like the other solid gold pieces, I don't have to take it off and I can leave it on to shower, swim, sleep, etc. What I really like about this ring there is a little bit of a height to it so when I wear this on top compared to the other rings if you guys can see it from this angle this one sticks out a little bit more than the other rings the other reason I really like it is because there is an engravable option every single time I have jewelry that is able to be engraved just like how a few months ago I had this one bracelet from Monica Venander also I got that one engraved and every time I get my jewelry engraved I engrave my grandmother's name Name. So her name is well, it's not in English, it's Mandarin, but I will spell it out for you guys. It's M-E-E-L-I. And basically, I always like to get her name engraved because me and her have such a special relationship. Just a little background, she actually raised me until I was six years old. So my parents didn't raise me and she also raised me in this like really, really rural part of Taiwan. And I just had the closest relationship with her. We have a very special one and she's just always with me. And also the one thing that she had left me after she passed was a piece of jewelry. I just always like to get her name engraved whenever I get jewelry and just kind of remind myself that she's always with me. In this item, not every item of Majuri is you can engrave, but in some Majuri items you are able to and also some Majuri items um, give you kind of more freedom of characters. So this one I was able to engrave her entire name where some other ones I believe you can only engrave like initials, like just two initials or whatever. That's what's also special about this ring. It also comes in yellow gold if you prefer that but um, if you guys also want a two-toned video on how to style please let me know and yeah we can get on with that so the second item that I want to talk about is this necklace right here and it is this pendant that I also got from Majuri this one is like the evil eye pendant I just got the pendant I also got a separate chain to be honest I think I would prefer a longer chain just because this pendant is a little bit big so I think I do I would like to have it like go down to here but of course the pendant is sold separately so you can pair whatever chain you want or if you already have an existing chain you can do that this pendant and the one that I did get is solid gold these two I can wear without ever having to take it off you guys can pair it with any of the chains that you guys already have or you can also go online and shop for some of their other chains but make sure you look at the length of the chain and see how it compares on your neck I believe they have a picture on the website that actually shows you where each chain will fall under this pendant ended up being a little bit bigger so I think it would have also looked really good with a longer chain the third item I want to share with you guys and if you guys have been following all of my Majuri collection videos which you guys can check out I have I think like five of them now I have had this item on my wish list for so long and I finally got it it is this chain ring right here the one over here I have already the small one which you guys know I love but this one is in the bigger size and I just love it it looks so dainty and it just looks so cute it's thick but because it's not like entirely all metal there's all these holes in between it does make it look pretty dainty so I finally got the ring it looks so good I'm really obsessed and I've been wearing it all month okay the next category we're gonna go into is skincare so usually I go in the order of what your routine would look like so this month I actually have two toners for you if you guys didn't know I usually have two separate toners because I have one for my night routine and one for my morning routine there is no particular reason usually you can just use one but because I am so lazy I like to do my night routine in the bathroom when I get out of the shower and my morning routine I like to sit my ass down when I do 
my makeup and I like to just do my skincare before. So that walk, you know, it's just across my small ass apartment apparently is a little too much. So that's why I have two toners. So anyway, I'm gonna get into it. The first one that I'm gonna share with you is the one by Laneige. I actually should use this. Oh my God, now that I think about it, I should actually switch this around. If you're gonna have two toners and if it happens, to be these two toners as well. I suggest using this one at night actually because this is the revitalizing toner and this one is so hydrating. I feel like this one would be better as a night toner. Once again, it's not meant for day only or night only. I'm just you know psychotic and have it for whatever if you also have that and first of all we can be friends but second of all it would be better for night because it's quite thick if you guys look at the solution i don't know if you can see the way the water like jiggles it, it looks more like jelly than water because it's a little bit more like jelly like i like to have the thicker stuff for nighttime just because i'm not putting makeup on top and that way my skin gets full hydration and just more hydration without being kind of just like taken away by, you know, the daytime makeup, pollutants, like whatever. And it's just thicker skincare. So right now I have it for morning, but really I'm gonna switch it right now to nighttime because that makes more sense. The toner that I have been using for night, but this one actually would be amazing for morning is the Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist. So this is what it looks like. It's also extremely hydrating. And you guys know how much I love toners that are spray on. This product, you can also just use throughout the day. Like you don't need to use this just before your makeup, but you can, and that's how I usually use it. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and now my face is wet. Dermalogica toners are just honestly some of my favorite. This one is really dedicated for hydration. So definitely check this out. And yeah, like give this one a try. For some reason, I couldn't find it on the Sephora Canada website. So I don't know what's going on there, but um, yeah, typically you can buy Dermalogica products on Sephora. So I'm gonna figure out what's going on and maybe leave a note here. The next product that I am going to share with you guys is a serum. So this one is the Ren Serum and it is called Bio Retinol. I believe this one has retinol. Sorry, I, the entire time I thought it was retinol, but it says retinoid. So I'm like, is that the same thing? It's a anti-aging serum. This is what the product looks like. Once again, can be used morning or night. I have been using it more for nighttime because in the daytime, I like to use a vitamin C for brightening. So if you guys want to just use one serum, you can just use this. Or if you're like me and like to have a nighttime serum and then one for morning. This one is actually a more common practice, okay? So the toner situation is a little bit like whatever but the serum situation a lot of people use vitamin c for morning and something else especially like retinol at night the reason why i like this serum is once again very similar to the keels oh what is it called again the one that i love from keels the keels micro dosing serum so i feel like this one is once again one of those products if you're like scared of using really harsh chemicals like concentrated retinol or whatever because you're like oh my god it's gonna burn off my face you're gonna have to start with like the two times a week eventually building it to like every day this product you can already kick off with every day morning and night you don't have to worry about this chemical burn because the concentration is a little bit lower meaning that it's not as effective with that like hit of chemical, but at the same time, it also means that you don't have to worry about, you know, like having to train your skin and all of that. Cause I know there are a lot of people who are kind of like scared of that. So if you are one of those people, this one is such a great anti-aging serum for every day, morning and night. I just love that this is also clean to the skin and clean to the planet. We wanna do our part, especially for the planet. So Ren is one of those companies that have just like really, really good company values. So if you're also really about that then ren is one of the greatest companies you can kind of like shop at this is also not an ad um that sounded like an ad it it's not but yeah I, I really like this so definitely check that out if you guys want the next product i want to share with you guys is my morning moisturizer this month and it is the avino positively radiant gel moisturizer this is what it looks like you can just get this at the drugstore and i actually did a campaign with them that should be coming out this month but what i love about them is they allowed me and you guys know if you guys are not a first time watcher that I like to test my product for a month before you know kind of like posting about it so they gave me a lot of time to test this product before I was like comfortable putting it in an ad on Instagram 
I think I'm posting it on Instagram. Yeah, but this product is such a great moisturizer, especially before your makeup because the moisturizer is quite light. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys can already see how much I have used it this month, but if you look at the texture, of this moisturizer it's very very light i like very light moisturizers before i do my makeup and really thick and like kind of like difficult to kind of like blend out creams you guys know what i mean like the ones that when you blend it still looks white and you have to like keep blending so i like those for nighttime but things like this and you saw how easily it just like blend it through like i like these type of moisturizers for before my makeup because you're already slapping on so many more products on your face i just like to keep my skincare portion for the morning a little bit lighter the next product i wanted to talk to you guys about which i actually already shared this on instagram stories but i also did share with you guys that i have not reviewed it fully but i have now it has officially been more than 30 days so i can officially bring it onto this video because when i have first put it on Instagram stories. Like it worked well for the one night, but I'm like, we'll see, okay? Like it was only one night going to the club. I'm like, we'll see if it stands, you know, daytime makeup, like whatever. This is why I like to test it for 30 days. What I'm testing next month, which I have right now is the Kiss False Falscara. I'm afraid to say anything right now because today I just tried it for the first time. It's my first time using it, so I'm not gonna say anything about it right now, but um, just stay tuned. For the Maybelline primer, I've been talking about this primer because it's a really good drugstore primer and it keeps your makeup on for quite a long time. And this is the matte and poreless primer. So a lot of people do not use primer. And if you're watching this, you probably don't use primer. Like I just know my, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why, I just know you don't. Don't. like most of you guys don't use primer when I said that on Instagram story so many people were like oh my god like you caught me I actually don't use primer but I'm gonna tell you why you need to use primer just primer in general and I feel like I've said this already but like just in case for all the new people the reason why you should use primer especially if you have acne prone skin is that you know a lot of the times the primer is kind of a barrier between your skincare and your makeup ideally you know your makeup isn't getting soaked into your skin so the primer acts kind of as like a defense from your skincare and your makeup so that way your makeup isn't just like soaking through so if you have acne just try incorporating primer into your routine and kind of like see how it goes and then obviously the whole like making your makeup last longer and making your makeup apply smoother is also some of the additional benefits of primer i have never been one to give up primer like in my makeup routine i don't care how packed my makeup case is you will always find a primer in there it's like one of those situations when you're at the airport and they give you those horrid plastic bags and they're like you have to toss out one product i am like if you are gonna toss out my primer you have got to be joking me i will toss out anything else like my shampoo my conditioner but i will not toss out my primer okay so that is actually pretty much it for skincare i'm gonna go on to hair so for hair i have tried this product for an entire month however i have tried it for a total of three times and that's because it asks you to use it once a week so i'm like at most i can try it four times because it's once a week that's my disclaimer here i haven't used it for that many times but i have I've used it all month because you're only using it once a week. So the product I'm talking about is the Shu Umura. I feel like I never pronounce this brand right. Shu Umura art of hair and this is the Ashita Supreme hair scrub. This is for your scalp so it's actually a scalp scrub this formula the ashita supreme is a japanese formula it's a very very luxe but i'm gonna tell you what this product is this product is a scalp scrub and i have talked about this on my channel before but do you guys remember how much i loved the Kerastas chronologic pre-cleanse that product was so good i feel like a lot of people are missing out on this but just like you would exfoliate your face your body or whatever there is no reason for you not to exfoliate your scalp your scalp also has dead skin ever since i started using the kerastase chronologic um, pre-cleanse which i thought was kind of like exfoliating my scalp i have been able to have longer days where i don't need to wash my hair because i feel like it gets oily not as fast so i feel like if you 
want to kind of like to stretch out your hair wash days, you can definitely try some sort of like scalp massaging thing, like pre-cleanse, like whatever it is. Funny enough, I also did a ad for the Kerastase Chronologique. So I am very proud of my very authentic partnerships. But anyway, this next one, this is not an ad, is the scalp scrub. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, and only using it for the three times, I have already used a lot. The reason why I really like this product is because first of all, I think there's components of sea salt because one time it kind of landed in my mouth and I'm like, salty okay so i think there is components of sea salt here i think they have shea butter so basically when you're like you know massaging it in your head it doesn't actually strip away from all oils it's still hydrating it's not just fully just stripping away the oils from your head what i also do is i put this product on my wet hair i take their brush this is also by shu yumura it looks like this this is also a game changer. I just go like this and I use this product and I'm also just like scrubbing away at my scalp. This product can also be used obviously not just with the exfoliator or scrub, but you can also use this when you're just using shampoo. So you can buy this separately. I also want to say that if you guys are having issues with hair growth or like if you think that your hair grows very slowly, one thing you can try, obviously it's not going to be the one and only solution, but one of the things you can definitely try is massaging your scalp because what this does is that it stimulates your hair follicles. So if you don't want to use your own hand doing it, you can definitely use the brush. Personally, I like using a brush now that I've had exposure to it because I have been using my hands this whole time but I just don't feel like my hands are like doing a lot if that makes sense I feel like because of the precision of this product it really helps me like get everything you know what I mean whereas I feel like my hands are just so soft I'm like are you are, are you like even working there like I don't know maybe it's a psychological thing and honestly another thing I read before was always like I don't know like your hands are always like the best for applying stuff like I think it was in reference to talking about like using your hands to apply makeup or like applying skincare and stuff everyone's always like your hands are always the best so I'm sure that's probably the same for hair too but in terms of actual exfoliation and getting like the itchy parts like this is so 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 good okay the next hair product I want to talk to you about is a small business I absolutely love supporting small businesses and I'm always just like yes you go guys like whatever anyway my favorite small business product this month and um, also for hair is a brand called Alafia and this is kind of like in replacement for the curl cream this is what it looks like it is the beautiful curls curl cream instead of a bottle it's actually like kind of just like in a container and you have to use your hand to kind of like scoop it up. So what I really like about this product is that this product is extremely effective for my wavy hair, which I actually didn't leave my natural wavy hair today. As you guys can see, I did style it today. Usually when I wear my hair natural, I wear it wavy and I always use some type of curl cream. And this month I was reviewing this curl cream and it was not only effective, but like I said, I just love the whole background and the story behind it I just love the culture of this company and they're just all about like equality empowerment etc so definitely check out this product I don't know I just like love this design too which is very cute and I love the color it's just very nice the next two products I want to share with you guys one is a bag and the other one is a home product so the bag I wanted to share with you is the Sinbono bag and I have already shared this on Instagram a couple of times but this color is super in right now and I love 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 how you can unclasp this and put your stuff in there you can already see I've been using it like crazy there's also an option to take this chain off so you can just wear it like this or you can also wear it with this just around your body and it looks so good I've shared it so many times on my stories it's just so cute and such a great statement bag I like wearing this bag especially when I'm wearing like an all black outfit or like other green stuff in my outfit and it just looks really really cute and also the company is cruelty free it's vegan and they have so many other cute designs that you guys should definitely check out and every time I wear this bag I get so many compliments especially from my friends they're like oh my god like such a cutely shaped bag and color and everything so definitely go check that one out the last product I want to share with you guys is the candle set that I got off Amazon sorry the cup is 
is not included. This is actually a candle that I finished. If you guys watched my last month's, was it last month? If you guys watch my last favorites video at some point, I finished this candle, which is amazing. This one is the By the Fireplace scent. It's so good. And now it acts as my candle supply holder. As you guys know, I am absolutely obsessed with candles. I have, in fact, I have one going right now. It is the Diptyque one. This is my classic one, the Diptyque Bayes scent. I love it. I absolutely love candles. I have one on pretty much all day every day basically this is my motto if i'm not eating there's a candle burning because if i'm eating like i want to taste the food so i don't need to like smell like a candle but like otherwise i have a candle on at all times i love candles which is why i got this candle set the first item that this one comes with is this wick trimmer which actually is so important because if you burn candles as much as i do sometimes the wick is so long and it's gonna cause a house fire the fire goes so high so you definitely need a wick trimmer. The second thing is this thing. This thing is actually, do not underestimate this product. When I first saw this product, I was kind of like, what the heck? And I'm like, it doesn't even look like it's gonna be effective, but it's to kind of like help dig out your wick, especially like if your wick has somehow like gotten into the wax and it kind of poured over. This one is to help you dig out your wick and it's so effective against wax. The minute you like touch it, the wax just comes up. So it's extremely effective. And then the last item that comes with it is this little, like it looks like a bell, but it just like, if you just cover the fire and, um your candle will dissipate. I feel like I never have the right words whenever I do this video and then I think about it later and I'm like, I've already sounded like a fool, so whatever. Anyway, um, that is pretty much the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I was just in a crazy mood again, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.